Hey, I'm Aski, and I'm here to tell you everything there is to know about skills in Path of Exile. There are two types of skill. Passive skills come from the passive skill tree, which you've looked at in another video and you'll find that linked at the end of this one. These skills give you a passive boost to things like damage or defense. The second skill type and the focus of this video are abilities which are activated during combat. They cost mana and they grant an immediate effect like shooting a fireball or swinging your sword in a circle around you. These skills are acquired through gems which must then be placed into corresponding slots located in the player's armour and weapons. Skills are split into one of three attribute types, strength, dexterity or intelligence coloured red, green or blue. So green gems will go into green slots, red into red and blue into blue. Once a gem has been slotted the player can then allocate this skill to a key or mouse button and then use it in combat. Your equipped gems will gain experience and levels and this will make the skills stronger. This is earned at a rate of 10% of the Exile's own experience gains. So if the Exile gains 100 experience, the gems they have equipped will each get 10. As they level up, their requirements will also increase. This means that if your Exile is not a high enough level or does not have high enough attributes to meet the gem's requirements, you will not be able to level it up again. Higher level skills will also cost larger amounts of mana to cast. This means that in some circumstances, it might be wise not to level a gem up to keep its cost low. Gems level up to a maximum of 20. However, it is possible to exceed this limit using equipment that gives plus one or two to gems in the item, corrupting the gem or linking them with a certain support gem. Corrupting is a mechanic where you can increase the level or quality of a gem, as well as adding new effects that can change the way the skill can be used in combat. Support gems are used to improve the skill gems that they're linked with. So as I mentioned a moment ago, you can use the empower gem to improve the level of a skill gem that it's linked with. Things like faster attacks, added projectiles, elemental damage and way more can be added to improve active skills for the use of support gems. To do this you'll need an item with multiple sockets that are linked together. So for example, you could have a ranger's burning arrow gem slotted with a support gem of lesser multiple projectiles. This will make the burning arrow fire three arrows out in a cone rather than just one. It's possible to use multiple support gems on a single skill. So to take the same example again, if we had a burning arrow with lesser multiple projectiles attached, we could then add in faster projectiles to increase the speed the arrows travel at, and so on. This is what makes items with 6 slots so powerful, as you can now have 5 support gems for 1 skill gem. We should also note that the same support gem can't be used more than once on a single skill gem. So that's how the gem system works, but there is one more thing to mention. Because the skill gems are not bound by class, instead they're held in a tradable item, it's possible for any class to get their hands on skills that wouldn't traditionally be part of their arsenal in other games, provided they meet the requirements for level and attributes. This means that you can have a ranger who has magic skills that would traditionally be those of a witch. This, along with the player's passive skill tree being open to all classes, means you can make very varied builds and create some very unique playstyles. There are way too many skills in Path of Exile to go through here, but if you want to find out what's available, I recommend checking out pathofexile.gamepedia.com. The link is in the description below and will take you right to the skills page. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment if you have anything to add, but for now I've been ASCII and thank you for watching.